Before we begin, I have some good news to you, Mr. Heidecker. I've been able to schedule the hearing on that second contempt citation for this December 4th as well. However, I must advise you, the court clerk has told me that if it's necessary to enter a third contempt citation, you will need to come back at a different time. I apologize again. Uh, there are no excuses for dis uh, destruction of property. Uh, um, I, I will just want to, for the record, state that I was not uh, aware of uh, the prosecution's witness of uh, Ayaka. And that came as a surprise for me. Obviously, there's a lot of emotion there. I would love to call my first witness. He is a world-renowned musician, a respected DJ in the EDM community. He is uh, here on his own volition and out of his own busy schedule. Let's please welcome to the stage uh, Orion Jacks. And Orion. There he is. Uh, if you would just sort of uh, recall the events of the night from your own memory, I think that would be very helpful in illuminating to uh, the jury here. Well, I mean, it was chill. Like, uh, it was cool. Uh, I didn't get to play. I mean, you know, because all the kids died. But, uh, it was, I mean, it was cool. Uh, a little bit disappointing. Like, I mean, there was no, there was no food. There was no water. So there was no catering or anything like that, which is well, there was a little wrong. Pardon me. There was... Uh, we had there was food uh, brought in for the for the artists. I don't, not, not for me. There wasn't. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So I mean, well, you guys didn't put this on the. It was back in this area here, mm -hmm. and we had a bunch of tacos and stuff. I didn't see that. But by by about well about five o'clock we had like seven bags of Mexican food, like burritos and stuff. Not from what I saw. Okay. Huh. I didn't even have any water, man. I know. Well, there was... So... We don't want to show that. You, you have to confirm this, that you said to me um, the night of the festival, before you were going to play, that I said, are you having a good time? Yeah, no, I had a cool time. But what that was your answer? A, yeah, it was a cool time. I was chilling. Thank there were you. a couple good sets. I was watching a couple good things going on. But, I mean, at the end of the night, so if you're having a good time and at the end of the night something bad happens, like you don't get paid or people start dying, then, of course, what you said previous, that kind of, you know, doesn't really matter, does it? Well, that's for the jury to decide. Okay. And you didn't see any food or were able to get any food? No, there was no food back there. You didn't see any water? You weren't no, able to there get wasn't water. any of that back there. And he didn't pay you on that day, correct? Nope. And I still haven't been paid, so. Did we he, uh, objection, asked and answered. Did he we pay you to that testify? Already. I'm sorry? Did he pay you to testify today? Yes. I have no further questions. Absolutely not. I have to, may I approach the bench. You no. said I did not say I would pay you for this for this testimony. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, I you said did. Oh, I would pay you for the festival. Yeah, but you also told told me that you're going to pay me for this as well. I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did. We was, spoke on the phone a couple nights ago about this, and you said if I come in and I testify that you would pay me. I would that's pay you I'm for here. the festival, the, the money you're yeah, owed. No, 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 that's Be not what you said. That okay, was a separate well, issue. He's that was a separate issue. That, that's dishonest to say that you, uh, uh, that I was offering money for testimony. I, I, I'm here to tell the truth, okay. and I'm just telling the oh, truth. We have no, this witness is district disregard. Yeah, well, good luck that, working on it. Good, guys. good luck Hi, doing the music. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. Mr. Yeah. Heidecker. Right. That's why I get paid fifty thousand dollars a show. Right? Yeah, well, it's, it wouldn't be worth That's it. Something that you couldn't Fuck afford. Fuck off. Something that you couldn't afford. Right? And uh, just in your own words, paint us a picture of your experience there that Friday. I had a wonderful experience at the festival. I thought great music, good food, good vibe all around. DKR rocked, and uh, I didn't see anyone get sick or injured or hurt at the festival. And uh, I thought Tim was doing a very great job up on stage, slaying it on the laptops, making good beats for everyone. Not, you didn't see the defendant uh, handing out vape pens or being associated with this kind of uh, activity? I do not recall that. No. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your testimony. It was very helpful. Have you ever been employed by Mr. Heidecker? No. No. May I remind you that you're under oath and you know the consequences for lying on the road to perjury. Your Honor, at this time, the prosecution would like to show a clip from the TV show, Decker. Is that you, Mr. Pop? Yes. Do you recognize this, Mr. Pop? Yes. Mr. Pop has just acknowledged 
his headshot on the Internet Movie Database, which is a database maintained for professional actors. And below it, you'll see his one credit for the, on the TV show Decker. Are you being compensated by the defendant for your testimony today? Yes. I have no further questions, Your Honor. I would like to call to the uh, court acclaimed actor and... Hold on, Joe. I'd like to call to the stand uh, acclaimed actor, uh, played the president, Jason, Jason Davidson, and Jason Davidson Jr. on uh, the Decker TV show. A very good friend of the defendant. Let's welcome Joe Estevez. We're uh, thrilled. I think the whole court's thrilled to have you here. Well, I'm on it. Uh, a little starstruck, I bet some of them are. Oh, I, I doubt that, but... Uh, uh, what, what are your general thoughts, impressions of the defendant and as, uh, a, as a guy? Uh, meaning, yeah, yeah no, I, uh, uh, Tim, I, I always thought you were uh, terrific and you and I always got along uh, together and, and uh, you know, uh, it cast me as the president, I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, I always thought of, of Tim as a hail fellow and always... Uh, Oh, there, hey, hey old fellow. Hey old fellow. Hey, hey old fellow. It's a, a, a old uh, a term, but just a, just an all around good guy that that you could count on. You could you could count on Tim. So that's you can uh, count. Just I'm sorry. You can count on Tim. Can count on Tim. Okay. Yes, sir. That's I mean that's coming from Joe Estevez. In yes. your opinion, did Tim ever seem to be off? Like possibly he was on drugs while working. Uh. I, you know, I mean, that's just an opinion thing. I mean, it, 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 maybe sometime, maybe. I, I don't know. It's, a, it, you know. Did Tim have a drug problem? Well, you, you know, we, we, uh, we, uh, we thought so. We had a, a you know, a, a stage of intervention for him, you know, after I'm sorry, he, who's we? Uh, well, me and some of the uh, fellow actors and his friends, you know, Tim, Tim's friends, you know, we we, we thought he, uh, uh, you know, he he may have a little problem, you know, after he set himself on fire. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that just in case the jury didn't hear that? Uh, he had an I, he had an accident. I I don't know the the, the circumstances behind it, but. You know, he got hurt pretty badly in a in a blaze, uh, in a fire. Where he set himself on fire, I believe. Well, I, you, let me retract that. I, I, you know, he was burnt in a fire. I don't I, I set himself on fire. I, you know. <laughs> and did you observe that his issues with the drugs got better after the intervention? Well, I, uh, I mean, I, you know, it's, you you can't tell something like that. I mean, you know. And uh, his name, we've seen him before. I'd like to bring him back to the witness stand. Is Greg Turkington? We call Greg Turkington to the stage. People wish to cross-examine. Uh, no, Your Honor, we're done asking the witness questions. Mr. Turkington, you're excused. Thank you. Your testimony. And your uh, favorite movie. It would be like a probably a three-way tie with Casablanca, um, Jaws, Gone with the Wind, and then coming up on the rear like um, Sleepless in Seattle and probably um, Raiders of the Lost uh, I've seen A couple more questions and then I'll let you go back to your busy day of watching movies like a loser. Yeah, uh, Objection, Your Honor. What, how would you describe that? How would you sustained. describe that, that behavior, sitting around watching these movies? Please over and over direct again? your comments to the bench and not to other counsel. How would you describe it, Judge, a man who sits around watching movies all day, these sleepless in Seattle Hobbit movies? Is that a winner? It's better please, than killing people at a music proceed. festival. That, now, that's, uh, that deserves a punishment yes. right there. Yes. And can you clarify for, uh, for the court here? Uh, Star Trek II mm -hmm. was... Uh, was that shot? Was that did that uh, show? Did that movie take place in San Francisco? Yes, it did. San Francisco shot there and also set there because the uh, the Starship Enterprise returns to San Francisco. Okay, and to jump ahead, Star Trek IV does not take place in no, San Francisco. That takes place uh, place in outer space. Okay. I have no most further. of the Star Trek movies do. I have no further questions here. Thank you very much.
I just want to just remind everybody that we uh, just heard from Mr. Turkington that um, some so-called film expert who also had quite a bit to say about my character and quite a bit to say about the um, events as they took place, as we discuss, uh, has said a number of untruths today in his testimony, and that will be proven uh, without a shadow of a doubt tomorrow in court, so stay tuned for that.